Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valero Tech... Designed TPC San Antonio. Greg was known for being the greatest and straightest driver of golf ball. You pretty much got to do that from the first tee here. Yes, in fact, at 454 yards, a par four. I'd rather start off on number 10. Can we just go do that? No, we have to stay here. The wind here makes a significant difference. If it's back into the wind, it plays substantially longer, but downwind, it all of a sudden turns into a gentle opening hole. Bunker in the front. That is okay, but not great, but long anywhere back and left is absolutely dead. You'll be thrilled with making a four here. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. No, that's not good. Straight into the trees. TPC San Antonio Rich is one of the stern tests on the PGA Tour, and you get an examination right out of the gates. Second shot on this golf course, Luke, is one of the most difficult on this golf course. A deep bunker out to the right. The green runs away on the right-hand side. A tiny target for sure with the second shots. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Okay, that hole's behind you now. Well, that's not the most positive of starts. Getting underway over par. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Golf is a game of confidence, and I like it. Taking the big dog off the tee. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Uh, there's highlights galore out on the course, but back at the third hole, this happened just recently. Bryson DeChambeau now with one of the great highlights of the day. Good look here for a second shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. That's a good looking shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, almost went in. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard.
and we've arrived at a par three. Looks to be going with the five iron. And this one might need to get down a little. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This putt looks to be about 33 feet. Oh, just missed. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the fourth. Good looking shot this. Let's find out what's happening over at the fifth hole. Even for the day. In a good position here, just outside the top ten. Oh, you beauty! An eagle! That'll help make a big move. This one from about 160 yards out. Currently four shots off the pace. Going with the seven. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. Uh, 
Uh, putting hasn't been the strength today. Hopefully that can change right here. It's got a chance. Well done. Now four back after that hole. Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich. And right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave. Knock it on with the driver. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch. But I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is on the leaderboard. Lining up for his third now. Let's return to live play now. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out. That's not a nice lie. He's going to need an incredible stroke of luck to get this out with any momentum going forward to get it on the green. Come on, sit. Wonderfully played. More chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. And this one is for his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Ah, that's not the shot he was hoping for. Setting up in the first cut. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, I'm on the seventh hole. This is Kevin Kisner. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at one over with a flurry, they could break into the top 20. Ooh. Obviously dialed in there, but not an easy shot. Super stuff. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Now five strokes behind. We have a par three on this one. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And this is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one.
Wow, that's misjudged. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Hey, nice looking line. And that putt will end up short. This is, I can't believe what I just saw there. It seems surreal. This is crazy. Sitting at two over for the event. And moving down the leaderboard as well. We have a par five on this one. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, guys, very deep in this rough. This is going to take some. Uh, this is going to take some precision engineering to get out of this one. That's it. It's okay. And here we are with their four. And he needs this to save par. Oh, that's frustrating. The putt goes in, and that's back-to-back -back bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. And with that effort, now three over for the day. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That's an awful error. The lines aren't too bad here in the first cut of rough. Going with the hybrid. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Well, story of the day for this player is just missed too many greens. You can't afford to do that. He yeah, has about 14 feet to the hole. Well, that's a mistake. Tough to leave that short. That will drive you bats. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm on the 10th hole, guys. This is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. OK, Rich, we're through nine holes here today, and it's cut day. What do you think's going through this player's mind? Just above the cut line currently. It is a nervous time indeed for this player.
John, give us an update. What's shaking? And guys, we're on the 11th hole and taking a look at DeChambeau. Sitting at three under par. Currently tied for top spot. Ooh, nicely played. Good shot. Let's get back to it, shall we? Coming off a streak of three bogeys. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. And here we are with the third shot. If he makes this, he'll save his par. This one's dialed in. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for bogey. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Currently outside the cut line, desperately needs a couple of birdies on this back nine to make the cut. This one might roll into the rough. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Opting for the five iron. Lining up from the sand now. Oh, that's incredible. And for birdie too. Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Going with the five iron here. Getting ready to play their third. Big putt for par coming up. Ooh, nice line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par.